Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shalom, worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message to edify and admonish the sincere, the true, and humble heart that by the favor, power, and mercy of Yahweh, they may be made into the image and likeness of our exalted King Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, I'm going to read to you from Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. And an highway, and an highway shall be there, and a way, and shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those. It, but, but it shall be for those. The wafer man, though fools shall not err therein. Let me read it again. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. And an highway shall be there, and a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the way for a man, the way for a man, the fools in the air therein. Yahweh has one way that connects us to Him, self. And that is holiness or separation unto Yahweh. Holiness is not religion. Yahweh does not sanction religion. He's not the author of religion. Religion is man-made. It was created by man and shall perish with man. Holiness is perfect obedience unto Yahweh. If you're holy, then you are faithfully obedient to the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh himself. If you're holy, then you believe in one God. You believe in one God if you're holy. And you believe his name is Yahweh. You believe in one God if you're holy. You don't believe in Trinity. You don't believe in henotheism. You don't believe in two gods. You don't believe in polytheism. If you're holy, you believe in one God. If you're holy, you possess the new birth according to Acts 2.38. If you're holy, you possess the new birth according to Acts 38. You have repented of your sins. You were baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for both the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul. And you had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. If you're holy. If you're holy, you believe in one God. You believe in strict monotheism. If you're holy, you possess the new birth according to Acts 38. If you're holy, you believe in the feast days as itemized as written in Leviticus chapter 23. In Leviticus chapter 23. If you're holy, you believe and you are seek to observe the feast days. Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, atonement, trumpets, tabernacles, and the eighth feast is the weekly Shabbat, which is commonly called, uh, is commonly called Saturday. 
So if you're holy, you observe the feast days of Yahweh. As Alamized in Leviticus chapter 23, the weekly Shabbat, Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, atonement, trumpets, tabernacles. Then there is the memorials, the commemorations that are not prescribed in Leviticus chapter 23, but their celebration, annual yearly celebrations that are, that are Purim, Feast of Dedication, Feast of Nicanor, um, the Day of Simon. If you're holy, you, you observe the feast days. If you're holy, you observe the dietary instructions as written in Leviticus chapter 11. If you're holy. If you're holy, you observe the code of conduct, how to treat members of the household of faith and how to treat the world of unbelievers. If you're holy. If you're holy, you will live according to what's written in the scriptures as is written in Second Corinthians chapter 4. We have the same spirit of faith according to what's written. If you have the same spirit of faith according to what's written, then you believe what's written and you speak what's written. You do what's written. If you're holy, holy is the life, holiness is the life of Yahweh. If you've been reconciled unto Yahweh through obedience unto Acts 38, then you are holy. In order to qualify for the first resurrection that will um, that will occur at the second coming of our King Yeshua HaMashiach, then you must be holy. Only the holy will partake of the first resurrection at the second coming of our King Yeshua HaMashiach. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy. The holy are those who have obeyed Acts 38 and are faithfully obedient for the rest of their lives until the hour of the second coming. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must be set apart to Yahweh. You must be holy. You can't be religious. You can't be righteous because righteous means that, well, you, you hadn't been born again. You hadn't renewed the covenant with Yahweh, yet you do live according to the commandments as you understand. But post death, burial, and resurrection of our King Yeshua, I'm sure, Yahweh mandates that you be holy. Yahweh mandates you obey Acts 238. You have no excuse for not being holy, for not obeying Acts 238. You have no excuse. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy. In order to be holy, you must repent. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. You must be holy. You must be in the life of Yahweh. Holiness is not religion. Set-apartness is not religion. Again, religion is not of Yahweh. You must be holy. Holiness is the way of Yahweh. Holiness or set-apartness is the way of Yahweh. 
is the exclusive way to that that that, that shows that you've been joined to Yahweh. You must be holy. Yahweh says, "Be you holy as I, Yahweh, your El, as holy." You must be holy. You must be holy. Holy means total obedience to the word of Yahweh. Holiness is total obedience unto the word of Yahweh. You got to be holy. Whether Jew or Gentile, you got to be holy. You got to be holy. You got to repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the washing away of your sins and for the pardon of your sins. You must be holy. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evidence by speaking another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. You must be holy. You must be holy. Follow shalom with all men and holiness without which no man shall see Yahweh. You must be holy. You must be holy. You cannot qualify for the first resurrection if you're not holy. If you're not holy, you can't qualify for the first resurrection. If you're not holy, you can't overcome Satan and his evil spirits and fallen Melachim or fallen angels. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must follow holiness in order to inherit the first resurrection, the kingdom of Yahweh. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy. Holiness is not religion. Holiness is the life of Yahweh. So when you're reconciled to Yahweh, by obeying Act 238, you become holy. You become set apart unto Yahweh. When you obey Act 238, you become holy. You become set apart to Yahweh. And in being holy, you're giving a nature that is it, it is reconciled unto it, 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 it is reconciled it, it, it begins the reconciliation process unto Yahweh and when you receive the spirit of Yahweh it, 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 it consummates the reconciliation unto Yahweh because the new birth causes one to take on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua for the nature and the spirit of Yeshua is reconciled to Yahweh. So to be holy, you must be born again. To be holy, you must be born again. To be holy, you must be born again. And to be born again, you got to obey Acts 38. To be holy, you got to obey Acts 38. If you're not holy, me, you didn't have to obey Acts 238. So you got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins, for the regeneration of your soul. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. You must be holy in order to qualify for the first resurrection. You must be holy. If you're righteous, you won't qualify for the first resurrection. If you're wicked, you won't qualify for the first resurrection. The righteous and the wicked, they'll qualify for the second resurrection. And the second resurrection will occur after the 1,000 year reign, after the battle of Armageddon, and the righteous and the wicked will come up to stand before Yahweh at the white throne judgment and the righteous at the white throne judgment will scarcely make it in. So you must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy. And to be holy, you got to obey Act 38. To maintain holiness 
You got to be faithfully obedient to the word of Yahweh. To maintain holiness, you got to be faithfully obedient to the word of Yahweh. You got to be holy. Can't be religious. You can't, can't, can't have, um, be, have a lot of book smarts. You got to be holy. You got to be holy. You got to be holy. Again, I say, you got to be holy. You got to repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins, for the regeneration of your soul. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. You must be holy. If you want to qualify for the first resurrection, you must be holy. And to be holy, you've got to obey Acts 38. To maintain holiness, you've got to continue in the word of Yahweh. You've got to be holy. For without holiness, you will not inherit Yahweh's kingdom. Without holiness, you will not inherit Yahweh's kingdom. Without holiness, you will not inherit Yahweh's kingdom. On this channel, I preach, I teach holiness. I preach and teach holiness. I preach and teach repentance. I preach and teach water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of one's sins, for the regeneration of one's soul. I preach that you must seek Yahweh in prayer until he fill your soul with his baptism of his holy presence, his holy spirit, and the initial proof, the initial and external proof that you receive the holy spirit, the presence of Yahweh is speaking in another tongue, another language, and Yahweh permits you to speak. Though I preach, I preach the feast days must be observed. I preach that the dietary instruction must be observed. I preach the scripture dress code. Women shouldn't, cannot wear breeches. Women must have a head covered. Men should not wear that would pertain to women. I preach you must treat all souls according to the book. You must be holy. You got to be holy, family. Years of life community got to be holy. Cut out the foolishness, cut out the man-made tradition, you got to be holy. You got to examine yourself by the book. Are you holy? Don't tell me you're religious. Are you holy? Have you obeyed Acts 38? Have you repented of your sins? Were you baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins, for the regeneration of your soul, for uh, have you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permit you to speak? Are you holy? Examine yourself. Are you holy? Are you holy? How you obey that through 30? Are you holy, yes, for that community? Are you holy? Are you holy? For if you're not holy, you will not see Yahweh in Shalom. If you're not holy, you won't see Yahweh in Shalom. If you're not holy, you know you will not see Yahweh in Shalom. You will not qualify for the first resurrection. For Yeshua instructed us, Verily, very I say to you, except the men born of born again. He cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. They say again, Verily, very I send you, except the men born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you're not born again, if you're not holy, you won't both understand the kingdom of Yahweh, neither shall you enter the kingdom of Yahweh. So you must be holy. You must be holy. You must be holy, Israelite community. Gentile community, you must be holy. You must be holy. You must repent. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ. 
But Jesus Christ is just the translation of Yeshua HaMashiach. The purpose of the word of baptism, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ, is for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permit you to speak. You must be holy. You must be holy. For the fool and the wicked will not enter the way of holiness. It's for the wayfaring man. Man that is the man that's that is submitted to the way. Man that has been born again according to Acts 38. You must be holy. I pray, Abba Yahweh, that you lead your elect to this message and the subsequent message that you spoke through me on this channel. Whosoever will, let him come, O Yahweh. Let your name be exalted. Let the name of your beloved son be exalted, Abba Yahweh. Let your power stir hearts to repentance and faith in the name of your beloved son, leading them to take on the nature, the nature and spirit of your son by obedience to Acts 38. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, so be it, so be it. Family in Messiah Yeshua, like, share this message. Support by PayPal, Cash App, will be in the description. Pray for your brother. We have we have troublous time on the horizon, family. But first the warning, preparation, then the judgment. First the warning, preparation, then judgment. I love you. May Yahweh bless all those who are here. May Yahweh reprove, rebuke the scoffer, the mocker. May Yahweh stir whoso else to like, share, support by Cash App, PayPal. Until next time, Shalom, one love.